Gamora and all their residents were reduced to ashes, disappearing into the wrath. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome to our channel, The Overcomers. This video was brought up on me to share with the world. It's called The State of Emergency of the Second Dead. First, we're going to start off in Revelation 21 8. Very strong verse. Let me hear it. Revelations 21 8 reads, But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderous, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So that brings me to let y'all know. A lot of people these days just wake up and think that, oh, so you wake up in the morning, you go on with your normal day, and you don't believe in no afterlife. Most people believe in whatever they believe in. It's not me to slander them. But it is written that there is another death. See, in this time, everyone is going to die. Without repentance, all of these individuals through spirits, the mind forces, will be found in the second death. The second death is Hades. Hades is hell. The people that ain't going to get found there is from Revelation to 11. He who has a ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes will not be hurt at all by the second death. In this verse, Jesus promised that believers will overcome. So this means like there's two ways to this role. People chose left, some people chose right, but in the end, everyone will stand before Christ. It's no individual that would not bypass. It's not even me, my wife, nor the people down the street, people across the country. Everybody got to stand before Jesus Christ, no matter. How you look at it. In John 5, 4, will not experience the lake of fire, the second death, is exclusively for those who have rejected Christ. It is, it is not a place believers in Christ should fear. So if you believe in Christ, uh, you should have no problem with the second death. The second death is basically for the people that didn't believe. And sometimes, like, one person might catch you when they're 20. One person might catch you when they're 30. One person might even catch you in their 60s. But you have that time to repent of your sins. That's what it comes down to. That's why this is a state of emergency because some people didn't wake up this morning. I had a, um, a lot of experiences of near death. I had a lot of experiences of visions of the second death. Um, I knew people that died, and it was shocking to me to even think of them even making it to the lake of fire because there's no return from that. All it is is brimstone, gnashing of the teeth, and you will burn day or night. And I heard a comedian say one time, he said, if you take off the four of forever, that's a long time. Even though you might think it's a joking point of view, that's a very long time because forever means forever. There's no coming back from that. And this is for the people that that goes on with their life and they don't understand like like how how temporary this life is. It's just not forever. It's like class. You've been graded on it. Uh, in this generation, I feel like us as people, we lost our way to the road like of Christ. Like today, some people uh, praise you. The generation totally changed for the worse. You can bite the head off a chicken. 
and drink the blood and they will applaud you. You can get on stage and speak of Christ and they will mute you. So the world really did swap. It's not what it was years ago. It's everything that's going on in Revelation. So that's why it was brought in my heart to start from Revelation. Just to show you and to have you understand that the second debt is not a fairy tale. Those who live by Christ will die by Christ. Those who live of the world will die by the world. In the end, some would not make it. Some would not see the second life, but they will see the second death. In the end, some will see the second death. They are not going to see the second life. But you have a decision, you have a choice that you can determine. Because as long as you have bread, you have a will. As long as you have a will, you have a drive. As long as you have a drive, you have a situation to where you can determine your afterlife. Like people be thinking when they become big movie stars and celebrities, they need a sacrifice and they are not living accordingly because if you would know, you would know that Jesus Christ was the almighty sacrifice. So it's right then and there the devil has tricked you. Once again, you live in of this world. And then when you realize like a couple of years down the line that you made an ultimate mistake, God is a forgiving God, but only you could determine if you can get on your knees to ask for repentance. God forgives everyone. Every night I ask for mercy on my soul. Every night I ask for repentance. Because in any time, this world can go to a complete disaster. If there was a power grip to, uh, to go out, and for the people who live accordingly just for money, how will you survive when your money is going to be worthless? Who will protect you? If, it's, if they're intruders, they could got all invitation into your house. Where are you going to get your food from? How are you going to live? You see, right now, everybody into living buck wild, but they're not really knowing how fast things could change. Things could change so quick. It could change in the blink of an eye. So that's why on the second day, it's more, more important for you to understand the people that God is trying to warn the sorcerers. You can't tell me nothing that, that God can't tell me. He's he a creator. The idolaters. That's the idols. I don't idolize nothing. If you ain't Christ. Bowing to, to anything that's not of the Lord, that's not of my spirit. Thus you come and thus you go. And that's something that if you know, you will know nothing lasts forever if it's not of the Lord. Murderers. How many of those do they have? David was a murderer. But David was also forgiven because he repented with a sincere heart. Liars. You know how many people lie today? You could be forgiven. In Jesus' name. The whole mongers. Everybody like wanted to uh, do the Tootsie Roll at one point, one point of time. But at the end of the day, even for them, God can forgive them. Ask for repentance. For the unbelieving, like, there's so many different religions, so many people worship, so many different things that has no power. Yes, no power. But you still believe it. But you still could be forgiven because you are still living. Time plays a part in what goes on. Most people don't understand that. Me, Matthew, James, understand that tremendously. Because God saved me from so many things just because that's the mercy of him. If he wasn't a merciful God, 
many people as myself wouldn't be here. The fearful. If you if you don't fear anything, you better fear God. Because if not, you're going to wish you had. So due to the two roads, Jesus says, you always have to have your eye open because he is going to come fast. Quick as the blink of an eye. He who testifies to these things says, surely I am coming quick, quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. So let me re repeat that. He who testifies to these things says, surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Which means God is not uh, discriminating. No individual. I don't care if you're from Africa. I don't care if you're from China. You could be from uh, Pakistan. We all share the same fate. It's two roads. It's not being in the middle. You can't be lukewarm. Then he said, these words are faithful and true. So what I'm telling you is, that's not my words. That's God's words. Jesus. Many call themselves gods. Like they got rappers. I'm a god. Like they, that's, that's foolishness. You, tell me when you split the sea, you go walk on water. Show me something that you can do that a God can do. Because everything else is foolishness. You're a human. A rock has no power. Who you think holds the sun up? Who you think holds the sun and the moon up? And they have people who worship that. Let me repeat this for you. Then he said to me, these words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of holy prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things which shortly take place. So everything I'm telling you about the state of emergency is about to take place. What you going to do when you don't have no lights? What you gonna do when they pass martial law and they come to your house and then they come and you think they come in and protect them? People don't care about you. They can't mute me. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm already visualizing to know what's, what's about to take place to be part of and what not to be part of. Know your place. Then he said to me, these words are faithful and true like God don't tell no lie. Like God says in the end time, People was going to dream. People was going to vision. You put them together and you spread the gospel. That's more people you can attract to the world and let them understand that time is getting short. When when you get to the, the a place in America, one of the best nations at to have gas prices at seven dollars a gallon, to social elections being rigged and people accounts being hacked. What that tell you they have control over everything that's on this earth but your soul. So your soul is what's live on forever. And the Lord God of holy prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things which must shortly take place. This ain't if. Is when he's telling you that he sent his prophets, sent his angels to show his servants, the people that's in the world. He's, he's sending all, all the people that he has, he's sending them down to show you, to prepare you for what's to come. It's coming to the point to where this is about to be a cashless society. I can remember cash, I, cashing a check and I had a hundred dollar bill and I went to seven stores and I could not break one hundred dollars. I feel with each store it was, I was like, why are you open if you can't break a hundred? 
They have like change in their drawers. It's going to be cashless. From cashless, then the mark. He who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. There's only a few that's really going to keep the word and spread the gospel. Because most people are caught, caught in their ways. And not just caught in their ways, they are caught in the world. The devil ha have them in bondage. Chains. I was one of them at one point in time. I, I didn't live accordingly. I didn't spread the gospel like I should. I was disobedient. But God is a forgiving God. God sends. Let me repeat that. I'm going to tell you who he sends. Prophets. Sent his angel to show his servants. So he, he surely loved the world that much that not only did he send them, he even sent his only begotten son. If that's not an individual that's really looking to grab your attention, to save you, to protect you, I don't know what is. Now I, John, saw and heard these things. I heard these things through visions, through dreams, through testimonies. And when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who, sold, who showed me these things. Then he said to me, see that you do not do that for I am your fellow servant and of your burden, the prophets. And of those who keep the words of this book, worship God. Even the angels say, don't, don't worship me. Worship the man who sent me. See, God no longer have to come down and speak through thunder like how he did in Abraham in them time. Because he has servants and angels for that. He sent Jesus for that. He sent Moses for that. He sent David for that. He wrote, he wrote this book for that. This is your G-U-I-D-E in this generation, in the world, period. Past, present, and future. And he said to me, do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book. So most people are most higher ups, because I don't sugarcoat it, are muting the, these words. They are taking God from out of the government. They took him out of the school. Um, they muting people on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. They doing all of that. And this world is in turmoil because of it. When you mute God, you will no longer have order. And when you no longer have order, you could no longer stand firm. And if you can't stand firm, you are not living or standing on a strong foundation, you will crash. And that's where we are headed at. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I am coming once again quickly. And he said that like one, two, three, four times <laughs> on the same page. And just what happens, this is the page I wanted to do. Revelation 22, 21. And behold, I am coming quickly. God said, no man, no angel in heaven knows the time. So that's, this is why this video is called State of Emergency. End time prevail. It's for us as people to understand through prophets, the holy book, and servants of Christ, we all have it.